Hello online viewers, welcome to our lecture video. In this, in this lecture video, we are going to solve this problem related to stress and strain. We have already solved many similar problems related to elongation of ba bar and problems related to stress and strain, whose link you can find in the description box below. So let's talk about this question. So what we have been given in our question is, a tensile load of 40 kN is acting on a rod of diameter 40 mm and the length of 4 meter. So before reading the whole question, I am reading my first sentence and I am going to draw my figure according to it. So according to this, what I have known is, I have a tensile load of 40 kN acting on a rod of diameter 40 mm. So which length is 4 meters. So I am going to draw a, uh, draw a rod. So firstly I am going to draw a rod uh, whose diameter is 40 mm. Diameter is 40 mm and length is 4 meter and a tensile load of 40 kN so in this side i am writing a tensile load of 40 kN is acting uh, since a tensile load of acting of 40 kN is acting in in left direction in order to maintain equilibrium a force of uh, another tensile force of 40, 40 kN must also act at the right so we have uh, so reading the first sentence we have drawn the figure now we continue a bore of diameter 20 mm is made centrally on the rod okay on this rod centrally a diameter uh, a bore which has diameter 20 mm uh, is made centrally a bore of diameter 20 mm is made centrally on this rod to what length the rod should be bored should be bored so that the total extension will be increased 30 percent under the same tensile load we have our young's modulus velocity e equals to 2 into 10 to the power 5 newton per mm square so what does this question basically mean is we have drawn this uh, figure for our condition of before bore so this is before our uh, before our rod has been bored and what is uh, what is next is a bore of uh, diameter 20 mm is made centrally on the rod so let me draw this figure one more time so this is my same figure but in this case uh, ob so if this is the central axis of the bore a bore of diameter 20 mm so this is my bore of diameter 20 uh, mm so let me simply write here diameter of bore equals to 20 mm a bore of diameter 20 mm is made uh, a bore of diameter is made 20 mm on this uh, is made centrally on this rod to what length the uh, rod should be bored okay so to what length so i'm going to name this length as x uh, x meter okay so let that length be x meter so that total extension will be increased 30 percent so if the extension before uh, would be del so so, so for just now if del be the total extension uh, in the first case before boring so what we have for our second case is we are going to write uh, del dash for so this is our case after boring after boring uh, x meter length our total extension should be 30 percent on the same load 30 percent which means uh, it needs to be uh, 30 percent which means 1.3 times greater 1.3 times uh, extension before bore which is del so 1.3 into this is extension before extension before bore before bore so if we have uh, 1.3 means we have 30 percent increase so 30 percent increase means uh, 1 plus 30 percent which is 1 plus 30 divided by 100 which is simply equal to 1 uh, 1 plus 0 0.3 which is 1.3 so in this way 1.3 has gone 30 percent increase means 1 plus 30 percent so this will be simply equal to 1.3 uh, now what we have remaining over here is we have uh, we have uh, the length as 4 meters so i'm going to show my length over here the total length of the bar is 4 meter so the remaining length is going to be x minus 4 meter so remaining uh, so this is my board portion so let me draw it in this way so i have my remaining as this is my going to be my on board portion this is my board portion uh, i'm going to denote my board portion by b this is my board portion this is my on board ub means on board and uh, the extension of on board is del ub so so the so this portion which is on board we have we are going to denote uh, the extension of this portion by del ub and the we have this portion as board portion and the extension of this bar will be denoted as del b what we have remaining over here is we have uh, the same force of 40 kN is acting for our board portion as well 40 kN is acting on the left so 40 kN must act at the right in order to maintain equilibrium so this is our before bore and after bore condition and we are going to solve this so firstly what we are going to do now is uh, uh, we need to find our length x we have our length x meter to what length the, the rod should be bored so I'm uh, to what length the board 
the rod should be bored we have uh, let it as x we need to find the value of x uh, and what we have been given is uh, the total extension before boring and total extension before boring the total extension after boring must be 1.3 times total extension before boring so firstly we are going to find the total extension before boring so the extension before bore is denoted as del and it will be simply equal to pl divided by a we have our value of p as 40 kN so p will be simply equal to 40 into 10 to the power 3 into we have l as 4 meter so this is 4 into 10 to the power 3 so we have firstly multiplied by 10 to the power 3 to convert kN into newton and secondly we have multiplied by 10 to the power 3 to to convert meter into millimeter and next we have our area we have our area as pi by 4 into d square we have our d as 40 mm so be simply equal to 40 square into we have our extension e as 2 into 10 to the power 5 so we are going to simply write that 2 into 10 to the power 5 on calculating this we are going to get our value of del as 0 0.6366 mm so before boring the extension in this uh, rod is going to be equal to 0 0.6366 mm so according to our question what our condition has been given is the extension after boring so must be equal to uh, must be 30 times uh, greater so which is uh, 1.3 times into extension before boring so uh, extension after bore so extension after bore which i have denoted as del dash will be simply equal to 1.3 times initial extension before boring which is 0 0.6366 mm and this is going to be equal to uh, 0 0.828 mm so we are going to solve this uh, uh, now what we have over here is the total extension after bore the total extension after bore which is denoted as del dash will be simply equal to the uh, so it will be simply equal to the extent extension of the onboard portion which is which is given as del uv on board uv plus del v which is going to be extension of the board portion which is simply the sum of sum of extension of on board and board portion on board and board portion so here our board means we have done a certain drilling we have created a certain hole over here so which is equal to sum of extension of on board and board portion so let me simply write it uh, this way on board and board portion so what are going to do next is we are going to we have our value of del dash as 0 0.828 mm and now for our on board portion we are, we are going to be using the same formula pl divided by a pl divided by a divided by uh, uv uv means on board similarly we have the same formula pl by a which is for board portion b representing board we have 0 0.828 equals to force is the same 40 into 10 to the power 3 divided by our length which is equal to 4 minus x we have done a mistake over it's not equal to x minus it's equal to 4 minus x since our total length is 4 so this we have supposed this length as x so the remaining is 4 minus x so you can do the question over here we have our uh, length as 4 minus x meter not x minus 4 4 minus x to convert meter into millimeter we need to multiply it by 10 to the power 3 divided by our area we are going to use the same formula pi by 4 into d square we have our diameter uh, diameter in this uh, case as 40 this is our same uh, this, is, this is the same portion so for our onboard portion this is simply equal to 40 mm as in our previous case this is also equal to 40 mm divided by 40 square into extension is same 2 into 10 to the power 5 now we need to be a little bit careful for our board portion uh, because we have created a certain drilling so let me create a front view of this uh, front view of front view of the board portion what we have is so so let this be our uh, rod and we have we initially had our diameter of 40 mm so this is our we had our initial diameter we had our initial diameter of 40 mm after that uh, after that this is the center we create a certain bore we create a certain bore and the and the diameter of this uh, and the diameter of this bore is uh, 20 mm this is given our question we have this diameter as 20 mm so what we have is we the extension of the board portion we need to uh, subtract the subtract both of this area so as you can see in the figure over here since this portion is made whole what we have done is we have created a hole over this portion so so no such for no so, so no such portion is exists there is a complete hole over here so the remaining portion of which extension is the capillary is this remaining portion 
so this is the remaining portion which extension needs to be calculated so what we are going to do is we have overall diameter this overall diameter is 40 mm this overall diameter is 40 mm and we, if we subtract this diameter this internal diameter uh, of the bore which is equal to 20 mm we are going to get the diameter of this outside portion uh, this outside portion which exists which exists so we are going to use the same formula over here what we are going to do is uh, for our area we are going to write pi by 4 into 40 square which is our total we have reached pi by 4 into 40 square which means we have calculated this overall area but we need to subtract the area of this board portion since we have made a certain wall like this since we have made a certain wall like this we have made a certain wall like this so what we need to do is we have to minus pi by 4 into 20 square into uh, so let me put a bracket over so in a real also we have a certain hole like this we have a certain hole over here like this so we so we have this remaining portion as area so this this portion is our hole so for our this portion only we are going to calculate its area and this area will be equal to pi by 4 into 40 square minus pi by 4 into 20 square as I explained before we have our e as 2 into the power 5 uh, in our upper portion we have p as 40 we are going to write that only 40 into the power 3 into we have our length as x meter so this is equal to x into 10 to the power 3 so this is our equation x into 10 to the power 3 and on solving this we are going to get our value so let me do one more step 0 0.28 uh, equals to 4 minus x uh, you can put everything on this calculator and cancelling and sub dividing what you are going to get is this equals to 0 0.915 plus 15915 plus x into 0.2122 and on solving this we are going to get our value of x as 3.513 meter so it must be bored 3.513 meter uh, 3.513 uh, meter centrally uh, so that the extension uh, in this case after boring will be one uh, will be uh, will increase by 30 percent or will be 1.3 times the initial extension before boring so in this case uh, so in this way we have solved another problem related to stress and strain if you have any queries you can comment down below and if you like our video and want to see more of the more of such video do subscribe the channel your subscription and likes will motivate me to upload more videos thank you